What's up guys, it's your boy Quick Stocks. As always, remember to hit those thumbs to recharge my dopamine and we will get right into your Quick Stock analysis of NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, trading for $525 a share as of August 29th, 2020, equating to a market cap of $324 billion and a PE of 96. It's been an absolutely crazy game for NVIDIA investors as the company is up well over 200% in the last year alone. So what's the move? Are we overclocking NVIDIA? Or is it a ticking time bomb waiting to blue screen? This is your quick stock analysis. Of course, NVIDIA is a multinational technology company that designs graphic processing units for the gaming and professional market, as well as chips for the mobile computing and automotive market. And clearly, investors are expecting massive growth from the company, which obviously demands a higher price per earnings. Really, the bottom line is, investors are willing to pay more to get a piece of NVIDIA, who is on the front line of 5G, artificial intelligence, self-driving, creative technology, crypto mining, data centers, and gaming. And one could certainly make a fair argument that NVIDIA will continue to outperform the market, as they are in the center of this technological revolution. They build computer technologies that make it possible for people to do things that are other otherwise impossible. Honestly, it's that simple. It only feels right to quickly cover the company's earnings call from last week. And to quickly note the numbers, operating expenses were $1.62 billion, and non-GAAP operating expenses were $1 billion, up 67% and 38% respectively. Q2 cash flow from operations were $1.57 billion. Revenue was $3.87 billion, up a whopping 50% year over year. And considering the global pandemic, no one was surprised that the company's gaming segment absolutely absolutely crushed it with a revenue of $1.6 billion, which was up 26% year over year. The company states this upside was broad based across geographical regions, products, and channels. And along with this, the demand for virtual and cloud-based graphic solutions was also accelerated by remote workers. The company's Q2 vGPU increased 60% year on year. And to top it off, data centers had a record quarter with 1.75 billion dollars in revenue, up an insane 167 percent year on year, in which they have massive contracts with Microsoft, Amazon, Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent. However, in less stellar news, the company announced their ProViz segment had a revenue of 203 million dollars, down 30 percent year over year, with declines in both mobile and desktop workstations. Sales were hurt by lower enterprise demand amid the closures of many offices around the world. And to quickly note industries negatively impacted during the quarter due to the global pandemic, which include automotive, architectural, engineering, construction, manufacturing, oil, and gas, which are all expected to rebound as we regain a sense of normalcy. Automotive revenue was $111 million, down 47%. However, they expect strong growth in this segment in the future. Remember, they have a partnership with Mercedes-Benz, which starting in 2024, which will launch software-defined intelligent vehicles across an entire fleet, including Drive AGX, AV autonomous driving software, and NVIDIA's AI infrastructure. Honestly, in the race for future autonomous software vehicles, NVIDIA is one of the companies that could give Tesla a run for the checkered flag. And this just scratches the surface for the future of NVIDIA. Take into consideration, 8 out of the top 10 world supercomputers use NVIDIA's GPUs, NVIDIA's networking, or both, along with consistently topping the list of the world's fastest supercomputers. Global supercomputer market size is estimated to grow at 28% year over year, which I don't think anyone would be surprised for this to last for decades to come, as governments and companies alike update their systems to the best equipment and tech available. According to the company, NVIDIA's GPUs are nearly 2.8x more powerful and efficient than systems without NVIDIA's GPUs. And to be blunt, the graphics processing business will define the next decade. Along with this, NVIDIA's tech is what makes AI, cloud, autonomy, and 5G connectivity to the mobile edge possible. Slightly off topic, but I'd also like to note, NVIDIA also has some major GeForce news. The graphics card market has set up a countdown clock in anticipation of its big September 1st announcement, which is right around the corner. NVIDIA is calling it the ultimate countdown. NVIDIA's special event site teases, before we enter the future, join us to celebrate the biggest breakthrough in PC gaming since 1999. 
Which, if we had to speculate, this is when the company will release its new RTX 3080 graphics card, which will sadly put our quick stocks 2080 Ti to shame. Anyways, to quickly note the bear case for NVIDIA. One could certainly argue the cause of NVIDIA's record quarter was a result of the global pandemic and a poor performance from previous quarters, making this quarter look extra juicy. And along with this, at its current valuation, investors are paying a fat premium. You have to invest nearly $100 for every dollar of the company's current revenue. And of course, as this market explodes, there are plenty of new competitive pressures from big boys such as Intel and Qualcomm, along with countless smaller players entering the market. And finally, in your humble reporter's opinion, the biggest bear case for Nvidia is the fact that the company logs 30% of its sales from China. Along with this, China is by far the world's largest buyer of computer chips. China bought almost 60% of all computer chips America produced in 2019. An investor in NVIDIA really has to take note of the importance of how reliant the company is on a healthy relationship with China, in which China has already stated they are removing foreign software and hardware from state offices by the end of 2022. One shouldn't expect to see NVIDIA technology and state-owned computers after that date. And let's be real, I don't think anyone would be surprised to see China create a bootleg version of NVIDIA's tech as a replacement. In the long term, these bootleg companies could end up being the only supplier for technological needs in China, which is obviously easier said than done, but a valid concern for NVIDIA investors. I'll spare you on the political aspects as we have covered the US-China tensions in great detail in countless previous videos. So with all of this in mind, what's our move? Simply put, they have the goods no one else has. Their processors really are the engine of artificial intelligence. They are one of the leading providers in database solutions. Their graphics processing business will define the next decade. And yeah, one could certainly argue companies such as AMD take better care of their customers and at their current valuation potentially offers more upside. But really, at the end of the day, they are both going to thrive in this market. Because to be real, the company is looking at one of the most powerful forces in our lifetime, where computers can learn and write software itself, the ability to automate automation. They are leading in technology like self-driving cars, automated retail, warehouse with logistic robots, manufacturing robots that can make things humans can't for even cheaper, amazing photos with phones, the ability for computers to understand our language. Bro, that's NVIDIA. Their products could reach every aspect of our lives, as they already are, and the company's balance sheet is extremely well positioned to continue their lead within this market. However, an investor should take into consideration the fact that Nvidia's price per earnings is nearly 100 and still setting all-time highs. Investors should enter with caution. Although, with how crucial NVIDIA's tech is and will continue to become in the future, I don't think anyone would be surprised to see NVIDIA eventually become a trillion dollar company and even well surpass the trillion dollar market cap, representing a 3x at its current valuation. And in regards to our quick stock long-term portfolio, we still have yet to start a position in the beast. And after our massive spending spree last week into OnTrack and Teladoc, we are going to have to hold off before loading up and hopefully we don't complain completely miss the boat, but it's a calculated risk we will have to take. It's just currently all of our long-term cash is going into OnTrack and Teladoc. But I certainly can't fault an investor who wants to join in on the NVIDIA hype train. Honestly, it is one of my favorite companies here at Quick Stocks. Everything just works. Everything just works. Contact hardening just works. Contact hardening just works. The Umbra works. The Penundra works. Everything just works. Everything just works. Everything just works. It just works. Everything just works. Global elimination just works. Ambient occlusion just works. Just work. Everything just works because ray tracing just works. However, take into consideration we are certainly not a financial advisor. Please do not buy anything just because you saw it purchased here on Quake Stocks. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. As always, the best investment you can make is to go along on Quake Stocks. Hit that subscribe button now at 1,470 subscribers and plan an early retirement. I will catch you guys in the next one.